welcome back once again to my youtube channel thank you for tuning in thank you to my returning subscribers thank you guys for stopping by once again thank you so much guys and if you are just coming across my channel for the first time do well to subscribe to this channel let's grow this family together you know and don't also forget to turn on the notification bell button so you get notified whenever there's a new video right so without waiting much without wasting much of your time let's dive right into why we are so guys as you can tell by the title i just want to talk about the challenges that i go through as a mom like everything i'm going to be talking about here today is personally most yeah I, I would say most of them are personal yeah what i go through myself as a mom you know so um motherhood is a blessing truthfully we cannot deny that father motherhood is a blessing it's an amazing journey is every woman's wish to be a mom one day someday you know it's a beautiful journey like the beautiful experience being a mom but at the same time, we still cannot underestimate the fact that motherhood comes with a lot, like a lot, a lot of stress, a lot of struggle, a lot of adjustments, you know, trying to be sane, trying to be sane, you know, no matter what you're going through, no matter the stress you're going through, you just don't want your child to see you in that situation. You always want your child to see you at your best anytime whatever it is you go through you just want your child to see you at your best you don't want that child to see you like ah my mommy is not fine my mommy is not this my mommy is always this you just want that child to always see you see you at your best you know and this brings me to one of the challenges that i go through as a mom you know i feel i feel isolated as a mom I feel isolated. The reason why I feel isolated is I don't go out more often. Like I don't go out anymore. The only time I go out is maybe I'm going for church service or Sunday church or we have appointments. Like going out like alone, you know, go out for sightseeing, you know, visit friends, you know, just go out basically is is something that i don't do anymore because the time i was okay let me go out i have to think about my baby i have to put her in concentrate like put her in every of my plans for that day everything you know somehow for me i don't feel comfortable i don't feel comfortable i don't know how other moms do it because there are still, I see some parents and some mothers who still go out. I see some mothers go out, go to a restaurant. I see them go to the park, you know, just. But for me, I don't know why it's difficult for me, though. That is why I feel isolated. Because staying in this house somehow is very, very, very boring. Very boring. Most times I want to go out. But I just don't want to go at the same time because of my baby i don't know why i don't know why i feel that way but that is what i that is how i feel as a mom like that is how i feel and another thing another point is uh, not having time for myself anymore as you can see like i no longer have time for myself anymore all my focus all my attention everything now is just to my child even though they are still mom, like I said before, they are still mom who still manage these things. But for me, I don't know why it's difficult for me to just manage this whole thing, these whole struggle, these whole challenges. I don't. That is why they are challenged, though, for me. Yeah, that's why they are challenged for me because I can't manage it. I can't. I cannot. I've tried. I can't manage it. Like I cannot. I don't take care of myself anymore. The least thing I do now is take my bath. That's it take my bath nothing else anymore like i don't before now i used to do my facials you know do some clean up on my body you know just look good that fine girl you know be fine but now i can't do it anymore i just can't 
I just feel I don't have that time because once I'm done with our routine in the morning, then do some ass chores, find something to eat. If there's no food like in the fridge, I have to make new ones, you know. Before you know it, before you know it, I'm already exhausted for the day. And all I just want to do next is to sleep or just relax. So that part is, 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 I don't know, even my friends, people around me are like complaining. You don't take care of yourself anymore. Why? Because of just one child. But I'm still trying to, to balance it because I just feel this phase is an adjusting phase for me. And the adjustment is difficult. It's really difficult for me. They are trying to adjust. For me, it's really difficult. So I don't know. But I just hope that I try, you know. That is the reason why I'm sharing with you guys, you know. At least at the comment section, some of you can also share your opinion. How you were able to manage all these things, you know, the, the challenges and everything that you went through as a mom. How you were able to manage it, you know, you can also share with me at the comment section as well. So we learn every day, you know, we learn every day. It's not perfect for everybody. You, you we learn from experience we learn from other people's story we learn you know you just you just learn every day learn new things every day so let me also know about yours in the comment section okay guys and don't forget to try and watch this video to the end and another thing that i go through is now not having a good time with my husband trying to share my attention with my child and my husband this one, I believe every mother's every mother go through this one as well. Yes, trying to share the attention on both sides, like make it somehow equal, or even though not equal, but just try and share it anyways. You know, try to give your child his own and try to give your husband his own as well. But for me, it's still difficult for me to. I'm still trying to balance it somehow. This. It causes misunderstanding between me and my husband once in a while, you know. When you want to have that husband and wife moment, somehow I, I can't. Because in my head, I'm like, what if she wake up? What if she cries? What if she wants something? You know, with that, I just, I just don't want to be in that position whereby you want to have that husband and wife time and somebody just distracts you even though I've, we've been there we've been there not once not twice so many times like so many times and the thing really get me angry a lot okay why why did we even like want to have this moment in the first place you know so try and understand that this child doesn't need my attention at this time even though you do but i just want you to understand that i need to give my attention to this child for now somehow i just like okay for me i feel the best way I can balance this whole attention thing is when she gets to one year. And one year is still a bit far before she gets to one year. Like that is when I feel I can balance this whole attention stuff. Because now she, when she's up to one year, I feel there are things that she can do by herself. Not fully, but this wanting me to carry her 247 sometime. I believe it's going to like okay go down a bit give her food i don't need to i don't need to like feed her always like i do now because now is the more that i feed her always but by that time i feel okay there are things that she can do by herself you know she can she she can understand when i say sit there she can understand when i say don't move you know so i just feel like when it gets to that stage I don't know, but I, don't, I just feel like when it gets to that stage, I can try and balance it, you know. So, but it's still, it's still very difficult. And this, this, this part, I believe every mother goes through this. Like every mother goes through this sharing of attention thing. Every married woman goes through this a lot. I don't know why I'm so confident in saying it, but I believe every woman, every, every married woman goes through this because... You cannot tell me that you have a child. Some sometimes even two or three say, and those three children will need your attention. 
at the same time you still need to cater for your husband in so many ways so somehow most mothers go through this trying to find the balance and somehow we still can't find the balance if we need to if we, if we need to be true to ourselves somehow most mothers still can't find the balance this causes some misunderstanding so in some marriage so i'm not saying all but in some marriage it still causes misunderstanding to the date so most mother can't find this balance i'm still trying for me to find the balance i don't know is striving striving to be a better mom you know striving every more every mothers want to be a better mom to their children you know striving each and every passing day to be a better mom for your for your children for you for my child to see me at my best you know no matter what i go through maybe when I and my husband are having some misunderstanding, I still try, you know, to wear that face, that beautiful face, like nothing is happening in the presence of my child, you know. Still try to to just basically be a better mom. Recently, this, there is this thing, I, I, what's the word? This, they call it, I think I've come across it in one or two people's content, one or two mothers' content, like this mom's guilt. Like when you do something wrong as a mom, like the guilt eh, is killing. The guilt is killing. Like you feel like, ah, I'm a bad mother. How did I do this thing? There was one time, guys, it's a secret. My baby fell from the bed. I think I was outside. No, I was in the I was in the kitchen. No, I was trying to. I was trying to, um, I, I don't know what I was doing that day, but I know I was busy. I know I was doing something. So I just said, okay, sit, sit there first. Before you know it, she fell. Like, that day was just like my whole world was just coming down on me. I felt so stupid. Like, I don't know. I, like, I started like telling myself, what kind of a mother are you? How stupid can you get? How will you leave a child? Like, I, this mom's guilt was just all coming up was just all killing me like almost two days i didn't get myself for almost two days feeling bad i was like huh i wish it was you that failed now it would have been better how will you know what this child is going through now even though she's laughing do you know if she's having any pain anywhere you know i was just i was just feeling so bad so bad i just i was just hating on myself for good two days like it was it was it was not really nice so striving to be a better mom every day is a struggle is a struggle you need to be a better mom you need to be at your best your best behavior because this this is you you need to how do i put it like um this is like you need to have this how do i put it somebody is watching you somebody you need to give your best to yeah, somebody you need to give your best to, somebody that is looking up to you. You don't want your child to see that worst part of you because they learn, they see these things and they learn so very fast when they see anything that you're doing. That is why this, there's a saying that if the child is good, it's for the father, if it's bad, it's for the mother. Somehow, somehow that same, and it might not be 100% true, but somehow when your child sees you, at your worst they copy those things they copy those things because most of the time the fathers are not at home so it is you either they see you at your best they see you at your worst they copy everything they see so striving to be a better mom is another struggle you know so i believe i just i, I want to stop here for now because this video is already getting too long i do not want it to get too long so that I, I will still make sense you know when it's already getting too long it will not make sense anymore so i want it i want to stop here for now guys so but at the same time let's see in the comment section you know tell me what you go through too as a mom the challenges for you how it has been you know how you were able to cope honestly i really want to i really i also want to cope i don't know how to cope with all these things that i've just said so if by any chance you're also going through one of the points that i've mentioned as a mom you know don't forget to put it on the comment section you know 
also don't forget to like share and comment and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so guys thank you so much for watching see you in my next video i love you guys